Hello everyone, welcome back here. Another lovely Sunday. Aaron here with a video uh, to talk to you about why in the world would someone like me or any runner in general have so much snot or a runny nose when they run. So I do what we all do. We hop on the internet, go find out. And uh, from two legitimate sources here, I found out it is called exercise induced rhinitis. And what it comes down to, according to CincinnatiScience.com, I'll link all these sites uh, description below, it says that uh, one, at least one study has been shown that exercise-induced rhinitis has been to occur more frequently uh, in people who have allergies. And as someone who is, so whose allergies choose to activate some years and, and not, then I'm definitely in that category. And you may be too. They go on to say, it is therefore possible that in some individuals, increased airflow through the nose due to uh, nasal decongestion and increased respiration or you breathing faster uh, can uh, occur during exercise that may introduce more allergens into the nose and trigger that runny nose or snot effect. I also found a Runner's World article from 2000 where their medical advisor, uh, Dr. Patrick Milroy, basically echoed the same sentiments. And he also talked about uh, something he had heard about people blaming it on their diet, especially one that is high uh, with dairy intake, and I'm from Wisconsin, so that was already me in a nutshell. And it could be you too, uh, if there are any other Midwestern runners around here. So the real question is, how are you really going to take care of this, and is it super complicated to do so? Well, both websites I've checked basically mention the same thing. Uh, go see your ear, nose, and throat doctor if you think you really need to see it, or you can just take allergy medication to try to prevent that runny nose uh, from uh, starting or firing during your run. So I'm going to see if I want to experiment with this. It's not the worst thing in the world uh, to have to wet your nose a million times during the run. It could be a lot worse things going on, I guess, but uh, it is uh, up to you and your preference. So uh, that's going to do it for this one. It was a quick hitter. Uh, if you like this uh, kind of content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Um, and also, if you are out there doing your first marathon and you want to know how to get through that mentally and the mental tips I use for my first marathon, you can go ahead and click this video right here or wherever it is on the screen. But until I catch you next time, good luck, have fun, keep on running.